it will show you. So this is what it looks like. Um, download Xcode for free, Xcode 7 beta. So this is the current uh, normal stable version. And this is the pre-release. So just hit download Xcode 7 there, and then you'll get taken to a screen like this. Don't worry about this. You do not have to have a developer account to download this. So just go ahead and enter your normal Apple ID. And if you don't have one, just create one and sign all their agreement. There's like a lot of things that you should probably read through. I haven't because um, it's like a million pages, um, but I'd probably sign my life away. Anyways, moving on. So once you have all of that downloaded, it's a pretty simple process of just dragging the DMG onto your applications folder, mounting, etc. And you've done this many, many times before. I don't have to go through this. Okay, so now we need to go into Xcode Beta. So as you can see, I've got both versions at the moment because you can't release to the App Store as of yet on the Xcode si uh, on Xcode 7. So I've got Xcode 6 for all my other purposes. So Xcode 7 Beta, let's launch. Um, so you'll be greeted by an opening screen that looks like this, and you should check to make sure it says version 7 Beta 4. So now what you want to do is create a new Xcode project. And here you'll be confronted, usually it loads up around here. This is for all your iOS apps and all your fantastic games that you're going to build at some point, no doubt. But you want to go into Watch OS and you want to go into iOS app with WatchKit app. So you can also get it there. Make sure you click on this and then click Next. Let's name it Hello World. I obviously cannot type today. So we're going to code with Swift today. It doesn't really matter. It's actually such a simple um, app that we're going to make. So include, no, we're going to uncheck that. We don't need notifications. We don't need glances. We don't need complications. I'll explain what all of that is in uh, future tutorials. So keep your eyes peeled. I've got a million apps on here, but create. Let's create our Hello World app. So I'm going to use this opportunity to basically do a guided tour of Xcode 7. Welcome to the tour, guys. I am your tour guide, Angela. Um, if you look to your right, so don't worry about Xcode is doing some indexing and background stuff. Um, it likes to do that a lot. Just leave it be, let it do its own thing. So if you look towards your right, everyone, you can see here there is a pane over here. And this is called the utilities pane. You can make it go away, you can make it come back, go away, come back. That was fun, wasn't it? So over here, you usually have all your settings, your parameters that you can change, all sorts of things that you can sort of dig around with. But right now we're gonna focus on the left side. You've got the navigation pane. This is essentially like a folder. This is like Finder. This is like where all your files are based. And um, as you can see, this folder is for your Hello World iPhone app. This is for your watch um, sort of more design aspects of it. And then this is, I guess, the, the code for your watch. Um, so if we have a look at this storyboard, this is Apple's way of getting you to design apps um, visually. Um, you can drag and drop things. So let's try putting button on here, there's a button, there we go, button, let's delete that button because we don't need it. And here you can see more of the um, utilities pane coming into, um, coming into focus as well. Um, let's go back to the navigation pane, you'll see here this is where your code is um, and you're going to have many many more files that are going to go into that group. Um,